supposedly we're getting some new stimulus check, but it's $600, but it was gonna be 2000, but then it was 600. I don't know, but it sounds like $600 is the final number. Now, I personally think that we should take that $600 and use it responsibly. And by that, I mean buying tar and feathers and gas money to Washington DC, but this will be more fun and won't put me on a watch list. So I thought it'd be fun to hop online and go, what's the best guitar that I could get for a stimulus check? Now, before I go any farther, I'm sure there's some rage monster furiously typing in the comments right now about how I don't care about poverty and that I'm privileged and all that stuff. And first off, and second, if you've been out of work for months and months and months because the government decided that you are not essential, $600 isn't going to help. So hey, let's buy guitars. Now, I've already gone through Sweetwater's site and I've picked out my top 10 guitars that I would buy with my stimulus check. Coming in at number 10, the Fender Player Mustang with P90s. The Mustang is just that like classically perfect pawn shop hipster uh, type of instrument. Super fun to play, small, it's got that short scale length. Uh, great sound thanks to the P90s. And they just, I don't know, they're just fun to pick up and play. Number nine, the ESP LTD EC256 and Vintage Natural. What a terrible name for a very cool guitar. This is, you know, your Les Paul type of single cut instrument. You know, you could have gotten like an Epiphone or something like that. I just thought that this had enough of a difference that it just kind of stood out to me. You know, you've got that sort of flame veneer, it's veneer obviously, but you've got a mahogany body, maple top, mahogany neck. Um, I don't know what the fingerboard's made out of. It's like Jatoba, which I've never heard of, but two pickups. The only thing that I personally don't like about this guitar is that it has kind of like that thin U neck, but for the speed type players, uh, you'll love it. And it's got like an almost 14 inch radius. So a little bit flatter neck, or a little bit flatter fingerboard with a thinner neck. So it's definitely for the, the shredder types, which I am not, but I still think it's just a, a very cool guitar. Number eight, the Epiphone SG Special P90, because P90s are probably my favorite pickup. I just really love how they sound. Um, and this, of course, you know, in that Pelham blue, that faded Pelham blue, such a cool color, the classic SG looks. You know, they also have the um, Epiphone Muse line, which I think, just makes Angus Young die inside. I just think they're kind of like not that great looking, but this is great, classic. Um, just, I don't know, there's something about an SG that just screams rock and roll. They're so awesome. Number seven, the GNL Tribute ASAT Classic in gloss black. They come in a bunch of different colors. Uh, GNL makes, I think, just like criminally underrated guitars and their tribute line is wildly affordable. This one comes in at $4.99 telly style with that um, their mfd pickup so it's like a little bit fatter of a single coil sound super fun um the neck for me is a little bit difficult to get used to it's not just like oh it's just a fender it's not that at all it, it does feel different and it has its own thing but they're just they're great guitars and for 4.99 it's a great deal coming in at number six the dan electro 57 electric guitar in jade uh dan electro you know is never really on my radar in terms of guitars that i want to get, but every time I hear someone playing them, they sound really great. Those lipstick pickups are just very bright and jangly. Um, again, kind of like that sort of like hipster vibe to them. You don't see tons and tons of people playing them, so it does kind of stand out. Um, and I just think they have like a really timeless um, look to them, but in that like retro way. So it's like very rooted in a time, but sort of feels classic and timeless. I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. It's a cool guitar. I would like to buy it. Number five, the Epiphone Flying V. Because I love flying Vs, that body shape is just so awesome. I'm kind of a sucker for a good V. Um, the humbucking pickups in this guitar sound great. And it comes in at 599 bucks, which is $1,000 less um, than you could get its Gibson equivalent for. So fantastic value for the money. And again, it's just like, look at that. Come on, how could you not love a flying V? Number four. The Squire Classic Vibe 70s Telecaster Custom. Uh, you know, the whole Classic Vibe range from Squire is fantastic. Like they sound so good. The value for the money is really, really high. You know, they obviously make strats, the, the more standard tellies uh, with the two single coils. Like they have just this whole range of them and they have 50s, 60s, 70s, different versions of the Classic Vibe series. But again, such great value for the money. They sound fantastic. Um, I just think that these, this whole line from Squire is is really just an amazing bang for your buck. And this one, 
uh, comes in at 450 bucks. Number three, the Gretsch G5220 Electromatic Jet BT Electric Guitar. Who names these? Honestly, who is in charge of naming guitars? Can we fire them and get like me or somebody who doesn't come up with endless, anyways. This to me is like another stunner. Uh, mahogany body, maple top, mahogany neck. It's got a walnut finger fingerboard, two humbucking pickups. It's got a bound uh, fretboard with inlays. Like it's just so beautiful. And I love this one because it doesn't have, um, you know, a Bigsby on it. I'm just not a huge fan of that in general. Um, so like a hardtail Gretsch is just such a fantastic instrument. And again, another great price, 499 bucks. This, I mean, look, you've got hundred dollars to spare, man. You could, you know, pay your mortgage. Getting closer, coming at number two, the D'Angelico Premier Atlantic. Finally, a shorter name. Well done, well done. Uh, these, I think, again, are they kind of fly under the radar, but they're just such really beautiful, the guitars. I love the design. The neck joint, uh, let me pull this up, yeah, is just so nice and smooth to play. Like, there's nothing in the way. It's very fluid. Um, and the way they did that scheme, they just did a, a fantastic job with the instrument. The headstocks are kind of giant, um, but they've got that Empire State badge on them. I think they're really, really kind of strikingly cool, even though they're a little bit bigger um, than I would normally prefer. But that three on a side design, again, I just think when you look at this guitar as a whole, it's just so visually striking and they do sound great. Um, like I follow them on Instagram and they're always like, you know, posting people playing their guitars and stuff. They just get a really consistently fantastic sound out of them. I'm really impressed. All right, here it is, drum roll. The number one guitar that I would personally buy with my stimulus check is the Schecter PT Special. I did not know that this guitar existed until I started uh, looking through the Sweetwater site for this video. And I was immediately, like I saw it pretty early on and I instantly went like, that's it, that's the one, that's what I'd get. The search is over, it's done. Uh, and then I had to look for, you know, seven other guitars that I would buy to round out the list. But this one wins for me, for me, this one wins. I'm a sucker for a telly. I love P90s and I think that combination of P90 in the neck with the classic Tele bridge pickup um, is a fantastic combo. It's got a satin finish so you can see some of the grain. It's got like about like this guitar is so much guitar for the money. It's got a bound fretboard. It's got, um, here let me pull this up, binding on the body. It's got contours everywhere. It's got the forearm contour. It's got the belly cut. It's got the sculpting on the neck joint. It's even got the scoop. You know, if you want, want to get up high on the frets, I don't, but some people really, really like that. It says it has a maple neck, but it looks like it's roasted maple to me. I could be wrong, but that looks like a roasted maple neck. Um, what a fantastic guitar for the money. Just incredible. I can't believe that you can get this guitar for, oh wait, you know what's funny? This guitar was in stock when I started making this video and now it's out of stock. Well, that throws a little bit of a wrench to this, although you can get it other places. I just was on Sweetwater. I, I think, um, you know, there's always Guitar Center, Musician's Friend, uh, Zounds, Music Zealot. There's all these Wildwood. There's tons of places where you can probably pick one up, but um, this is the guitar that I would personally buy with my stimulus check. And now it's your turn. Uh, let me know in the comments which guitar you would get, whether from my list or something completely different. Which guitar would you buy for around that $600 uh, price range? Like, what do you think is the best guitar that you personally could pick out uh, for that price range? I'd, I'd love to know. Now, I am going to actually stop online shopping because I'm not going to buy a guitar right now and I'm going to practice. I know it's a, it's a crazy idea. Now you go play guitar.